Do you know what's juicier than gossip? Fraud stories. Don't believe us? Here's what happened after the recent release of Hindenburg Research report on the Adani Group's alleged frauds. First, Adani has had over 120,000 plus Google searches in 36 hours. And second, fraud has had over 5,000 plus Google searches in 24 hours. Today, we have another fraud in store for you. This one involves your childhood favorite, Cafe Coffee Day. Sebi has levied a fine of 26 crore rupees on CCD's parent entity, Coffee Day Enterprises Limited, that's CDEL, for a possible scam of 3,535 crore rupees. So, how was this fraud uncovered? Let's take a look. Welcome back to Revolution Read On, a daily podcast where we break down one story from the world of business and finance. The first whiff of the scam came after a tragedy. CCD's founder and chairman VG Siddharth's suicide in 2019. The suicide note stated that all was not well financially at the company. Three major points that Siddharth mentioned in his letter were First, the company was facing a liquidity crunch. Second, private equity holders were putting pressure on Siddharth to buy back their shares, probably because the company was in debt and wasn't profitable. And third, alleged harassment by income tax professionals for not clearing dues. After Siddharth's death, officials started an investigation into his claims. One year later, in 2020, a shocking truth emerged. The investigation revealed that Coffee Day Enterprises Limited or CDEL siphoned off 3535 crore rupees from the company's subsidiaries. Wait, what? Most of us know CDEL for owning Cafe Coffee Day cafes, the number one dating spot in the early 2000s, but CDEL offers a lot more than coffee. Its 49 subsidiaries have their fingers in many pies. coffee exports real estate it services logistics and lots more now a lot of these companies require regular supply of coffee beans so they have dealings with mysore amalgamated coffee estates limited or macel these companies paid an excess of around 2693 crore rupees to macel there's no purpose of transfer mentioned seems strange That's what we thought until we found out that 91.75% of MACEL's shares are in the name of Siddharth's late father. So the company is basically owned by Siddharth and his family. And through this company, Siddharth transferred money which subsidiaries had paid to MACEL to other companies or his family members. Two of the subsidiaries that transferred a total of 1420 crore rupees to MACEL had no revenue of their own. So why did they transfer such a huge amount and to a company that had super weak financials according to SEBI short answer major corporate governance issues apparently the whole show was being run by Siddharth who often made others sign blank checks to enable transfers no one else had any knowledge of this master play the promoter holding in CDEL is currently only 9.59% of which VGS's family holds 7.23%. The public holds the remaining shares of the company. If CDEL is in debt, it negatively impacts share prices and in turn the common public. In fact, the SEBI has claimed that this fraud is what brought down CDEL's share prices. It was seen that closing price of the script of CDEL was 285.15 rupees on 1st April 2019. and 225 rupees on 2nd July 2019 the price fell to 66.05 rupees by 19th August 2019 and further to 27.95 rupees as on 29th of October 2019 that is fall of around 88% compared to the 2nd of July 2019 share price from the above price movement it was amply evident that the concealed act of diversions of fund or financial transactions impacted the price of the script of cdel which resulted in huge losses to investors such frauds don't just impact shareholders but also the whole economy in fact it was the il and fs scam that is thought to have caused the liquidity crunch at cdel 
As banks lost huge amounts in the scam, they tightened their purse strings. This probably led to Siddharth starting this whole ring of fraud. This fraud also brought to light the dark side to entrepreneurship. How sometimes entrepreneurship pushes people to extremes. Sometimes the pressure could be daunting. Sometimes it may get a little too much. CDEL has to pay 26 crore rupees in fine and pay off the dues to subsidiaries with interest. Though they contested the charges levied on them under the prohibition of fraudulent and unfair trade practices relating to securities market regulations and the listing obligations and disclosure requirements regulations, SEBI has given them an appropriate rebuttal. But so far, CDEL has only been able to pay off 110 crore rupees in dues. It is also seeing losses. Will the company be able to pay off these dues? Thank you for listening to this episode. We'll be back with more tomorrow. Until then, read on. Hold up. 